In this video, we will learn to use the conditional statement uh, in SAS. So, uh, what we will be learning is how to use if else, else if in uh, base SAS. We can use if else statement for a variety of purposes. We will go one by one. We can use it for subsetting a data. For, for this illustration, I have taken a data set. I uh, will show you the data set. This is the data set I have taken. Um, there are four columns in this data set. Admit, GRE, GPA and Rank. I want to subset this data set based on some condition. I want to have a new data set, students1, based on the condition that the GPA score is greater than 3.5. How do I write? Data, then write your uh, new data set name, set your parent data. So parent data is nothing but the data set from which you want to subset. Okay, so the data set that uh, uh, I just showed you is our parent data. Then we use the if statement. If GPA is greater than 3.5 semicolon. That's it. When we run this, we'll have data set wherein the GPA is greater than 3.5. It has run successfully. Let's go to students one data set. You can see all the observations are having a GPA greater than uh, 3.5. So that's where we use the if uh, condition. We can also use if for uh, deleting observation. I'm creating another data set students 2 using the same parent data students. If GPA is less than 3 then delete. So students having a GPA less than 3 are uh, you know deleted from the uh, data set. Um, if I run this always check if it has run correctly yes it has. So we will go and see the student 2 data set. Yes. So uh, how many? Four observations are deleted. All the uh, students in this data set uh, are having uh, greater than CGPA 3. The next thing that we can do using uh, a if statement is creating a new variable. How do we do that? Based on a criteria, we can create a completely new column in our data set. I want to create a column based on the GPA. If the GPA is greater than 3.5, I am creating a new variable. Uh, I am naming it as good underscore bad. So uh, whether a student is good or bad. If a student is uh, student has scored GPA more than 3.5. Uh, I'm giving it as one because he is a good student. Else, good underscore bad text zero. Got it? If I run this, I'm creating another data, another new data set, student three. Let's go to student three. You can see a new column or a new variable has been created based on the condition that uh, you know whether a student is uh, student has scored uh, GPA greater than 3.5 or not. So wherever it's greater than 3.5 good bad indicator good underscore bad is 1 else it's 0. There is uh, another way of uh, writing if uh, else statement. We can uh, use the else if statement along with if. 
when do we use it when we have uh, you know a number of conditions to be implemented okay here if gr is greater than 7700 if a student has scored gre greater than 700 i am categorizing this student as a very good student so i am creating a new variable student underscore type i am assigning it uh, a value very good okay else if so the next condition is that else if if the student has scored greater than 500 but less than equal to 700 then student underscore type takes a value average he is an average student else student underscore type equal to poor so what is the reason that we have put single quote because student underscore type is a character variable when we assign a value to a character variable we should ensure that we put it under put it put it within the uh, the uh, single code uh, so what we have seen here is that if we have multiple conditions multiple conditions we start with if and then we we go on with else if and we can have as many else if else if else if like if you have five condition first one will be if first condition is written like it's written here if gr is greater than 700 then student underscore type is very good and then you continue with all the else ifs if you have five conditions you will have four else ifs and the last uh, you know the last thing or the last condition need not use else if or need not have anything rather we can just put else so everything other than the previous all conditions okay so that's how we use the if and else if condition uh, it's pretty much same to the english language uh, you know whenever we talk in english uh, we do the same thing we start with if this happen else if this happen then so and so and finally for the last condition we we always use the else because that's the last thing that's the thing which is uh, different from the rest of all the condition so these are uh, some of the uses of uh, if else uh, conditions uh, we can of course explore more on this and there are so many uses these are very simple uses of uh, if else condition very useful uh, when we uh, deal with the data set uh, before you know doing the modeling we can clean the data we can uh, sub subset the data we can delete some of the observation based on criteria uh, you know for example uh, as I have shown you right we can delete data so if we want to delete data where it's a missing value we can put a condition if GPA equal to dot then delete okay you can see the code if GPA is equal to dot then delete so we can delete all the observations where GPA is a dot value or a missing value okay so that's how we use if else